morning, good morning, fellas and gals. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, leave me in a comment down below. How are you guys doing today? I am doing very good actually today. I've been driving now for about eh, two hours, close to two hours. Yeah, put a little bit of go-go juice in this morning. And uh, I was going to videotape it, but my camera died on me and I had the other camera plugged in overnight. So, yeah, didn't get to videotape that, but hey, now we got the other camera charged up and now we're ready to roll again. And now the sun has finally come up. Well, I don't see it anywhere yet, but it's daylight out there at least. So it's out there somewhere, hiding, but it is a little foggy this morning. Yes, indeed it is, but eh, that's all right. We got 235 miles to go to our delivery place, so my GPS says I should be there about quarter after 12. That's a lot before 4 o'clock, isn't it? Yeah, so hopefully everything will go smoothly. We can make it to our delivery. And then uh, we'll see what we will get from there, I guess. But Yeah, luckily there in London there's a flying J truck stop there as well. I can probably head over there and call it a day if nothing else, right? We can't do anything else then we'll just have to stay there I guess for the day. Maybe get to something tomorrow, right? Oh well, I can't be pushing too much anyways. I don't have a, have a whole lot of hours so and it being Wednesday today, it'd be kind of hard to get a load to go south somewhere because, you know, everything would probably want to be delivered on Friday. And, you know, especially if it's a little further south, it'll be too far for me to make it there for Friday morning, right? Uh-oh, looks like that Smoky Bear is putting his... Uh, lights on there he uh, just passed me here just before I turned on my cameras and now I see he's got his flashing lights up there I wonder who the who he decided to pull over now I don't know he's still there on the left hand side there today so <laughs> not sure yeah, of course and every four wheeler is going to pass me and get in front of me eh? they cannot get behind me right I don't see he's got anybody pulled over. I don't know, maybe he just, oh yeah, he's got somebody there. Yeah. Oh, it looks like an abandoned vehicle there, so he's probably gonna go ahead and put a tag on it. So that way it's okay to get it towed away. Get it off the road. So it's not a hazard to the vehicles up here, right? But yeah, we are going to put the hammer down and get to our delivery ASAP, right? I haven't even had breakfast yet this morning, but well, that uh, pilot there uh, where I was stopped, that only had a subway in there, and I had subway yesterday for breakfast, so I don't mind subway, I actually enjoy subway, but not every day, you know? I don't want it every day, so. But hey, it's all right. We'll go make our delivery and then we'll see what we will do from there. And then we'll uh, probably head over to the Flying J if we don't get anything and probably have us a bite to eat over there, right? Or we'll cook us the stew, who knows? I haven't done that. I was going to do that the other day when I was there in Stockbridge and I don't know, I just kind of got distracted and didn't need anything. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. But yeah, so we'll see what will happen. Appreciate you guys joining me on today's vlog. Welcome back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. And we are 
on top of the Ambassador Bridge right now. Yeah, and it is a disaster getting across here today. Boat lanes are completely packed up here even today. You know, it's just crazy up here. I don't get it, but a lot of trucks coming back to Canada, I guess, today. So we're in it already for about, I would say, 20 minutes trying to get across this bridge. Crossing border, entering Ontario. Yep, and we're just still slow going. It like, took forever just to get through the duty free there, so. And now we have finally made it, so. Seems like it's moving a lot faster now, so hopefully we'll be able to get across the border here pretty soon. And, and then we'll be uh, hammered down towards the delivery place. That's delayed myself now probably about half an hour, 45 minutes now. Yeah, that looks like that's getting tight up here. <laughs> But anyways, we'll see you guys on the other side. Here we are now across the border. And look at all that truck traffic going the other way too. Man, that's a lot and lot of traffic. But we finally made it across in about 28 minutes or something like that. Or maybe even 30 minutes. But yeah, that was a, that was quite a wait there. But look at all this traffic, man. It's, that's moving America, ladies and gentlemen. That really is. That goes to show you how many trucks are out here on the road. Thousands and thousands of trucks, eh? Look at that. Two lines over there, just solid, full of trucks. All trying to go to the United States of America. We have just exited the United States of Canada. Uh, United States of Canada. United States of America. But now we are in Canada. We have about two hours to our delivery, it looks like. If there's not going to be any slowdowns, that's of course. But we got one big scale here before we get pretty much out of Windsor. Well, it's a little outside on Windsor, but you know, got a few more lights to go through and then we'll be out of town. But yeah. So here we are. We are now only five miles or a little less than five miles away from our delivery place, ladies and gentlemen. We are now on the back roads on Highway 52 right now currently. We'll be taking this for five kilometers and then go down a street down there and go down there about a block or two and then we'll be at our customer according to RJ. Yeah, yeah, I remember delivering to places like that over there. That's like a ski doo place or, you know, where they sell snowmobiles and four-wheelers and all that good stuff. So, that's where a lot of these companies are located in the middle of nowhere. That's been my experience anyways. <laughs> but yeah, we're stopped here at a traffic light. Oh, we should be changing here pretty soon. So that's nice. There we go, get across here, but yeah, so we are very close to our delivery and let's hope they'll get us unloaded pretty quick. I wouldn't be surprised if they are pretty quick because, I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, right? So, it just says no vehicles can stop anytime between 3 a.m. and 5. I didn't quite understand if it was 5 a.m. or 5 p.m., but... But yeah, so we're in farmer's country now. Yeah, looks like they made a whole lot of hables up here. They're still making some. Looks like they got everything ready for making some anyways. But yeah, let's go find out and see what will happen. Still haven't heard anything from this batch yet if they will give us a reload or not. I guess eventually we'll find out, right? Alrighty guys, we have already gotten unloaded and we're here at the flying hook right now. Getting us the rest of our tanks fueled. Yeah, look at that, eh? We're getting fuel. Nice little Peterbilt right here beside us, parked here. But yeah, 
anyways that was a pretty quick uh, getting on load there and everything so uh, only about 15 kilometers down here to the uh, fly and hook up here so yeah you can see all the trucks parked over there so now we're gonna get fuel all the way up and then we're gonna go find us a parking spot we still haven't got no reload offer yet so uh, we will probably go uh, have a bite to eat, take a shower, uh, and uh, then we'll wait for further instructions from dispatch. I got asked to do this. That's a Flying J up here, that's a fuel island. And this is where I am parked. You can see I got my lights on. I got asked to show a little bit on the outside when I parked. And today is one of them beautiful days out here. That's not the way to park though. Like he parked a little crooked over there and that's actually in a reserve parking there. But yeah, so that's how we park over here. Yep, and I got front row as you can see because uh, I got here early, right? <laughs> yeah, look at that, eh? We are here and I'm just looking at some spots over here. I was almost thinking there's some oil in there, but that's yeah, probably just from the diesel that I had spilled the other day. I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, that's probably what it's from. But yeah, anyways, this is how we uh, how we park over here. This is a truck stop, pretty much, and this is actually reserve parking here. I'm not in a reserve, but uh, the other guys are gonna have to pay that one apart on that side but yeah see they got a line up here and you can usually see that's up to where you're supposed to back and I'm right before the line and the other guys looks like they went over the line I don't know why they would want to do that because they got plenty of room over there to to be on a on the front there right but yeah so that's what a truck stop looks like got plenty of room in the back there yet and we got here a tanker <laughs> parked behind me here he's way too far out but anyways i got asked to do that and i hope you guys appreciate it yes indeed we haven't gotten no reload yet dispatch sent me a message they uh the load hasn't gone through yet they're still working on it he said it probably won't be today which i kind of figured but no big deal for me i got a shower i had a bite to eat we're all ready for the night so let's go back to the into the truck and let's do some more editing on the videos getting them ready for you i have had me a very good night's sleep guys yes indeed it is a next morning right now yeah looks like that sun is shining nice and bright over there and we have gotten us a reload offer so i figured you know what let's finish my video from yesterday basically and uh put the files into my computer real quick and uh get all my logbook and everything up to date and let's get out of here and let's go pick up our reload and hammer down again so without further ado let's not waste too much time here and let's get this show rolling so we'll see you tomorrow morning see what we're going to be doing